Hello, my name's Katie and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Uh, instead of doing my makeup for the video, I would do my makeup as the video. I've become so out of practice with doing makeup that I really could do with more practice and so I thought I'd do that while I have a chat with you about how my style experiment is going and uh, where I'd like to take it in the future. So let's go! So the first thing I want to do is say thank you because I have 10 subscribers. It's so exciting. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you and every single view. Uh, even if you're not subscribed, I appreciate you. And every like, every comment uh, really means so much to me. So thank you so much. I don't know how I'll go with talking and makeuping at the same time. Uh, that's going to be even harder, but uh, well, here we go. Oh. You may have noticed um, I dyed my hair yesterday, so uh, and I feel really good to have freshly dyed hair again. Uh, now I've already put sunscreen on because that is a number one, especially in Australia or any warmer climate or anywhere really. So first up I'm going to put on some primer because not to prime is a crime. This is the face blur from Etude House which I've used several times before and I like. And I'm using the... Um, camera video to put my makeup on today which uh don't normally do I normally do it in the mirror so it's going to be interesting yeah so with makeup I've gotten so out of practice with it as I said it's been mm, in the last two years I've maybe um put make a full face of makeup on maybe 10 times and most of that has been for YouTube videos and I've gotten to the point where I I just feel like Anytime I put makeup on, I feel like I'm 12 years old again and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so the results today could be interesting. Um, I also feel like I'm very conservative with, with my makeup. Like, I intend to go glam, but then I end up with something that's quite boring and sometimes you can barely even see it. And um, I want to change that. I want to have cooler makeup. While I put my foundation on, I'll talk to you about how my style experiment is going. Um, I actually have several almost empty BB creams and foundations that are probably quite old, um, which I really need to replace. Um, and just find the foundation that's right for me. So here we have the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Natural Ivory. Um, I usually find that I have to go for the lightest foundation in the range, uh, otherwise it's just too dark and often they're yellow toned as well. Uh, I, I do have a lot of makeup brushes, but I don't use many of them, but um, here's a nice one. Oh, don't tell me it's dried out. Oh, oh come on, man. Show me some love. Oh, here we go. So, how is my style experiment going? Well, I started the experiment in March. And I realized as I was preparing for this video that uh, it's that was six months ago. Uh, it's now September, so I've been doing it for six months. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like I haven't done all that much. I might have only done one or two months worth. But you know what? It wasn't meant to be a rush. I knew it wouldn't take exactly a year. And I knew some things would take longer. Some things might not take as long and you know what that's perfectly fine sorry for not looking right at you I'm actually looking at myself in the camera mirror so so when I started I set up a schedule for maybe the first six months uh, and I was going to spend a month doing each thing and then after maybe about the first six months I would flesh it out uh, the rest of the year as I went along so the first month was finding my style and collecting inspiration um, now both of those are actually a pretty big topic uh, much bigger than I thought they would be. I thought I had a pretty good idea of what my style was already, but uh, as you might have seen in the, if you've watched my previous video on how I found my style, it was actually pretty massive and I'm quite proud of myself for coming to those conclusions and not getting bogged down in all the detail. Uh, because I am pretty eclectic, I like so many different styles in clothes, home decor, art, so it was actually really hard to pin it down and I'm proud of myself for doing that. Oh, I've still got a bunch of foundation on my hands, let's just whack that on. So the other thing I did was um, I've gone through all of my clothes that I'd set aside for alteration 
Um, and if you've, again, seen my alterations basket video, you will have seen some of them. That was actually only about a quarter of all the clothes that I had put aside for alteration. And so I've gone through all of them. I've written them down, um, had some ideas about what to do with a few of them. So I feel that that's really coming along. And I, I feel like that's something I want to focus on rather than buying new clothes because I am on a budget. I want to focus on reusing, recycling, upcycling, upsizing rather than buying new. So that's something I didn't really think about at the start, but um, I, I feel like as I go along, I want to focus on that more. Hmm, so what's next? Is it concealer? So for concealer, I've got this full cover... Uh, I don't even know what brand it is, but I it's from Korea. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff actually. It's a cream concealer and it has a green and an orange. So the green goes over the red parts of your face and the orange goes over the purple under eye parts of your face. I have a lot of red on my nose. It looks horrific at first, but once you blend it in, it's a lot better. The other thing I did was I started a basics table. I haven't finished it yet. So a basics table is something that um, I found out about it's an idea from the Stitches. Um, I love her channel. She's great. I'll link to her down below. What am I putting it up there for? The redness is down here. Oh boy. Yeah, so what she did was she made up a... Uh, basically, it's an inventory of her whole wardrobe. And she categorized it by colour. Um, and obviously type of item like skirt or pants or whatever. And that way it gives you a good idea of what you have. What you have too much of. What you're lacking in your wardrobe. Um, it sounded like something I'd be really into <laughs> and I have so many clothes um, that yeah I felt like I needed something like that to help me focus. I've started on that but I have found it a bit more difficult than I realized because um, I'm gonna go in with the the um, orange for my under eye bags now <laughs> so I'm just pressing my finger to it for a second to warm it up slightly and make it easier to put on. I found it a bit more difficult uh, to it actually implement the basics table than I thought because a I have so many clothes but B a lot of them aren't actually basics so I have a a gray t-shirt which sounds pretty basic but then it has a logo on it of these cute cats uh, which would work for some styles and not others um, I'm gonna have to categorize them by style as well as by color and type so I started to get a bit bogged down in that too what's next eyeshadow does Nikki Tutorials use eyeshadow or eyeliner first? I can't remember. Uh, I'll just do my thing. Okay, I'm going to do my eyes next. So I've got this um, Majolica Mallorca Eye Palette, which I bought from YesStyle. It's another Korean brand. And I do love their styling. It's so pretty with the gold and the little pearly bits around the edge. I've also started up again with a little bit more sewing and... Um, alterations uh, which I hadn't done for a while and so I feel like I'm making some progress there I, th I think I was in a slump for a long time over winter and just things kept continuing the I know I'm not supposed to say the words but you know the where we're not allowed to go out time kept continuing here in Australia um, and you know that gets to you so I think I was in a little bit of a slump uh, which is totally understandable. What is that? Why is there a line there? Oh. But now that it's spring here in Australia and you know things are warming up the days are longer I'm really feeling like I want to do more just in general like more arts and crafts and going for walks and things like that. Is there enough on there? Not enough or too much? It's so hard to tell with this camera. Just going to go back in with the same brush, which is probably a bit naughty, but oh well. And take some of this white and put it above the brow here. Now when it comes to altering clothes, a lot of my clothes don't fit anymore for various reasons. To be honest, I've been a little bit worried about um, talking about it because my body shape has changed. I mean, everybody's body shape changes all the time. And sometimes you don't even realise because... Most people tend to wear clothes that are either stretchy or they have some give anyway. And so small changes can happen all the time without you even noticing. I have lost weight. I have lost weight in the last year and it's, it was because I was sick. It wasn't because of any effort that I made. And I, I just want to emphasize that um, putting on weight, losing weight, to me they're neutral things. They're just things that happen to your body. 
I don't diet anymore. This wasn't something that I deliberately set out to do. It just happened because um, I developed a new chronic illness and it just happened in the last year. I'm just going to go in with some of this darker colour now. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah, so if you see me saying, oh, I made this pair of pants or whatever smaller, it's just a thing that happened. It's not something that I celebrate. It's not something that I'm, on, on the other hand, upset about. It, it's just a thing. Oh, is that much darker on one side than the other, or is it just the lighting? Well, I'm going to go back in and put some more on this side just to be safe. These days when I put on any amount of makeup, it always seems way too dark because I'm not used to seeing it on myself anymore. So to you guys, it might look totally normal, but to me, it's like, what did I do? Oh, and there's one more colour on this palette um, here, which is gorgeous. I think I might swap brushes for that one. But I don't really know where to put it, so I might just go in and put it, like, randomly. <laughs> no plan, just doing at least... Half the time I choose the colours randomly too, so at least this is a step up. Just putting it in there. I can't get up really close, so I can't see what I'm doing properly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I might put a bit under under the eye. That's a new thing for me. Ooh. Oh, I have some of this Love Sugar. <clears throat> I thought it was pink when I was buying it, but it's actually green, uh, so I'll just use it for this. <sighs> Maybe get a nice fluffy brush. Uh, actually, I think this is poor quality, not fluffy, but anyway. <laughs> put it... I don't know where I'm putting it. Right up here. That'll be nice. Oh, I found this um, shadow liner from Bloom um, in emerald green, which maybe will go with this look, maybe not, I don't know. And it scrolls up, which I really like in a pencil. I hate it when you have to keep on uh, sharpening it, and I usually never get around to it, to be honest. Let's try some on the other side too. Getting in there. There we go. Ah, here's something that I like doing a lot. I have, uh, you get a white pencil. Um, this one's shiny, but it doesn't have to be. And you go into just in the corner of the eye here. Just add a little bit there. Um, that really opens up your eyes. It makes them look bigger. Although if you put too much on, as happened to me one time, your friend will say, you've got something white in the corner of your eye. You know, they were just trying to help. So next up is mascara and the future plans for my channel. Usually when uh, people say future plans for my channel, it means big changes, but don't worry, it doesn't. I am continuing on as before, but I just want to fill things out a bit. So for my mascara, this is the most expensive product I own, and the most bougie. So, and there is a reason for that. This is the Kevin Orcoin um, Tubing Mascara. I have a checkered history with mascara. It's my favorite product. If I'm not gonna wear anything else, I'll wear mascara. But one time a few years ago, I had a mascara disaster and um, basically it ended up all, the, all under my eyes like a black and no one told me about it. I lost trust in my husband that day. No, just kidding. But I was too paranoid to wear mascara again after that. And every time I did, I, I would be constantly checking myself in my phone um, every five minutes to make sure it hadn't all blobbed everywhere. So I decided I wanted a tubing mascara. So with tubing mascara, it forms into a little tube on your eyelash. And the only way you can get it off is actually by pulling it off. Like a tube. Um, so... This sounded great, so I wanted to get some, and I don't know if this is still the case, but two or three years ago, the only brand you could get in Australia was this one brand and one product from Kevin or Coin, and uh, the only place they sold it was Mecca Cosmetica. Is that what it's called? My I was too scared to go on my own, so my friend came with me, and uh, we bought it together, and this is the. Mm, definitely the most expensive product I own um, and one of the best like I have had no problems with mascara fallout or clumping or you know finding bits um, on the rest of my face uh, that, or melted off or none of that not even in the hottest weather 35 degree day nothing uh, nothing bad that is so <laughs> I definitely recommend tubing mascara, and um, if you can, this Kevin or coin, although it is clumping now because it's getting a bit old, I need to replace it. 
uh, that's the other thing about not wearing makeup very often is um, if you have something um, with a limited shelf life uh, it goes off before you get to use it all and that's kind of sad not gonna do my brows because I'm not a brow girl <laughs> and I know these days that's the first makeup scene is to not not do your brows but um I don't care so getting back to my style experiment um my future plans um and I'm gonna do that while I put on this Inica light reflect uh highlighting cream oh, I hope there's some left uh, this one I've used quite a lot because um, what I do is I mix it with, with my BB cream and that gives it a little more of a It gives it a little bit more of a um, glowy look I guess to your skin again I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm going in blind, but I'm gonna use maybe this more fluffy brush and just brush it where you Brush it on the bits that you like. I think it's pretty much the the tip Oh damn it. I'm not sure um but yeah, the bits you want to stand out. On oh, the chin, the chins are pretty good. I like my chin. Yeah, so obviously I want to continue on with my style experiment, but there are a few um, extra directions I think I want to take it in. Uh, so I do want to firm up my style, get more clothes in my style, make more clothes in my style. Um, I also have, think my style is going to change depending on various factors. So um, my three core styles that I like are Maury K slash Cottage Core, Fairy K and other pastel styles, and Grunge. Um, but I think I would wear different things at different times of year. So I'd wear probably Maury K in winter, Cottage Core in probably summer, spring summer. Because I haven't seen very many winter cottage core styles, correct me if I'm wrong. But, and then grunge obviously seems to suit with cooler weather. And um, I also quite like, you know, your dark academia. Um, I like your art academia and pastel academia. And so you could muck around with those at different times of year uh, as well. That's probably enough highlighter. I've got this blush. I don't know if I want to use it, but how, why not? Um, so it's Bare Minerals Loose Blush in Primrose. And, oh, look at this fancy brush that I probably got in a sample box for free. Yeah, so I think I might do seasonal videos um, on different looks. Once I have enough clothes and um, some outfits that I'm happy with, I might do some lookbooks. Uh, can you see that blush? Is it actually going on? Am I going to look at myself in the light and be like, oh, so much blush. Oh, very 80s. Oh. Do you, you know, you don't pat it on, do you? You brush it on. There we go. Get, I just feel like I'm just throwing caution to the wind now. That'll do it for blush, I think. My eyes are starting to water again, so excuse me. Oh, my cat just came in. Do you want to say hello to the people? His name is Sharik. Yeah, he's a majestical prince. Yes, you are, darling. Alrighty. Oh, now you can see some birds out the window now, so I better put him down so he can go patrol. Where was I? My god, this has been going for 38 minutes. Alright, lips. Actually, I got this um, in a sample pack that my friend gave me for my birthday, so I'll try this one. It's Estee Lauder, and it's Pure Colour Envy Sculpting Lipstick in Rebellious Rose. Uh, probably shouldn't talk while I'm doing this bit. So yeah, I want to do some more craft videos. If you like that, um, let me know. I've already started altering my favourite pants and I'm making that into a video. And I want to try out some other alterations ideas. I might put some lip gloss over the top uh, to make it more shiny and spring-like. Can make Tokyo, your lip only gloss. So just, oh yeah. Oh, so shiny. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Mm, that that's a um, definitely very satisfying level of shine there so I think I've gone off the the monthly themes um, concept that I had and probably more onto um, a series of just trying different things out um, and not trying to stick to a schedule because you know I'm a spoonie some days I have energy some days I don't some days I feel like doing a different thing from what I had planned and so I just want to run with that instead of, you know, forcing myself to do something that I don't want to do. I think I might do my hair now. 
I was going to cut my fringe um, before I did this, but I might keep it a little bit longer and then I, I might try some maybe curling it, Rachel Maxi style. Okay, my hair. Oh dear, oh no, it's, it's supposed to be flat. Oh good, got so much hair. My cat is chewing and biting on the ends of my hair now. Sweetheart. So here's the finished look. I think it's pretty good for someone who's so out of practice with doing makeup. As always, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And even if you don't want to, I just hope you enjoyed the video and that you have a great day. Bye. Say goodbye to the people. Yeah. Oh no, now it's biting time, alright.